uh, yeah, my agent just died. It seems like the engine is stalling when uh, I go really slow or hold the clutch in. Um, it's been sitting for a couple of weeks and uh, I think uh, it just doesn't need a little bit of running in. Uh, yeah, my agent just died. Okay. Yeah. So I just want to say to you guys, uh, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. It really helps me out with, uh, well, at least my personal pride gives me will to live. And to make more videos, my plan for today is to take this bike off-road. I'm on the Bullet Blue Rock. I've never been with this bike off-road. This is my first time and uh, it's going to be a first for you and me. I didn't really see any videos with this bike off-road. I just want to see how it performs. I'm going to do a few adjustments just to uh, make it, uh, well, basically just give it a fighting chance. I'm going to let the pressures down in the tires from 2.25 bar to 1 bar, that's uh, just uh, under 15 psi, so then I'm going to have a little, a little bit more uh, traction, and uh, I'm going to adjust the suspension, well the rear suspension because the front is not adjustable, I'm going to adjust the rear to its uh, most comfortable, well, softest uh, setting. Bullet, wasn't it? They said it was a good little bike. Yeah, well, it has it its one, faults. Two, five. Yeah, yeah. One, two, five gets you there, doesn't it? Good fuel economy. Problem is reliability. They're not really that great. Oh, really? No. Is it British made? Uh, it's uh, Chinese made, uh, uh, but it's um, Belgium company. Okay. But they're made in China. It looks retro, doesn't it? Yeah. Have a good day. Bye.
Bye bye. The bike does look quite good. A thing that I uh, I forgot to uh, tell you guys in my small review that I did is that this bike comes with a center stand. I'm just gonna put this bike on the center stand so you can have uh, see what I'm talking about. So as you can see now, the rear wheel is off the ground. So it's it's really nice for it's really helpful when you do maintenance change a tire or adjust and lubricate the chain and it's nice to see it on this bike because uh, a lot of bikes do not have a center stand oh yeah hello oh, <laughs> No, nah, it's a Belgium company. Belgium. It yes. looks very British, you know. It yeah, like it, they kind of copied yeah, the style. But it looks absolutely fabulous. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. What other bikes have you got? Mostly Hondas. I like reliability. This yeah. looks good, but um, to be honest, it's not really reliable. Yeah. Lovely. Wow, people do love this bike. So I kind of got lost a bit. How we deal with mud. So all in all, I do think this bike is relatively capable of road. Well, it's not the most comfortable because it doesn't have a much uh, suspension travel. I didn't really get stuck in, you know, any mud, any uh, sand. It looks quite good. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe for more episodes. If you're already subscribed, I do appreciate you being subscribed and watching my videos. And uh, see you on the next one. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? He's not gonna do it. Do you appreciate it? <laughs>